So have you ever been, have you ever looked at a map and seen the name of a town and just think about what it would be like if I lived in that town? <laughs> and, and what I mean is like, so there's, there's a <laughs> like, sp- <laughs> This one's poopy butthole. Well, That's going to stink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, so there's this town in Massachusetts. It's called Blansford. And and every time we pass it... Remember, you ever, what was the cartoon? The Fairly Odd Parents that live in Dimsdale? Yeah. Like, that's what I think about. Is like, you just pass this town and it's like, everything goes gray. It's like, welcome to Blansford. And every boring person I can think of is like, yep, you're totally from Blansford. Hi, Nick. Hey. It's kind of cloudy today. Yup. As mm-hmm. usual. Mm-hmm. So I thought, I think that's a that's a good thing that we should talk about, is places with funny names. There we go. Places with funny names. I'm Jamie Grum. And I'm Nick Drago. And we are Big Spoon, Little Spoon. We're just two guys going to talk about some random topics that we pick out of a hat before each episode mm-hmm. and just go off topic if we can, talk about that one, and just have a lot of fun. Heck yeah. Yes. So we, we chose... We have no idea what the topics are. So no. this week is um, Places with Funny Names. And... There are a lot of places with really funny names. Lansford. Though. I thought that was a good one, right? <laughs> so it's it's like an inside joke now with my wife and I. It's like every time we're driving, it's like Blansford. Blansford. Okay, so I'll let me just say this. I used to live in a in a town with a pretty interesting name. So now you already know where I'm going with this. Of course. So I've been working in King of Prussia now for the past uh, few months, and I keep getting people bringing that up because they're they're coming from all over the place and we're in that town and I, just before i say anything it's just the most like outrageous name you could think of but it's because there's a big mall there yeah king of prussia so most people i think on the east coast the northeast at least have heard of king of prussia because it's the second largest the second largest mall in the country and it's on the largest on the east coast yeah, it's the large, the second, this, the number one would be the Mall of America. Of yeah, course. of course. Yeah. Um, so the name King of Prussia, I actually don't know where it comes from, and I'm gonna want, yeah. I want to look. So this maybe up. That, that'll be one of the things that we look. We're gonna up. look yeah. this up during. But the it's break. just such like a, it's just like, it sounds like so regal. I mean, like Prussia is actually like that was a country. That was a country before. And yeah. So like, what did he come and visit? And he was like, "I'm the King of Prussia. I'm visiting America, and this is my town." I. Th- think and this is this is my this is an absolute guess shot in the dark here mm-hmm. but king of prussia is right next to valley forge yeah okay yeah yeah and so you you at least know part of the story of I, valley forge i actually my wife and i we we uh, hike in that all the time there every weekend when you get a chance we go there and hike yeah. so there's a lot of history there too so maybe it is connected well so there was the the prussian general who uh, defected to the U.S. Mm, yeah, so, so true. at the time, at this point during the, the American Revolution, mm-hmm. right? Washington suffered a horrifying defeat. Um, he marches his army to Valley Forge. Now they're they're kind of here for the winter. They were training there too, so they were co- yeah. pulling people from all over the country. And the way that they kind of like segmented everything, I know it's a little off topic here, mm-hmm. but the way they segmented was like there were different armies from different states because we weren't totally connected well, at the time they were militia militia yeah so, so they, different militias we, from different states we didn't have a trained a standing army there's no yeah. american army it was just it was people rebelling against the crown yeah and so uh washington and what was left of his men they're they're here they're trying to get people from philadelphia which at the time was our we could say capital we weren't a formed country yet yeah and so this this prussian general who ended up somehow with with Washington, I don't remember the full story, but he ended up at Valley Forge and helped 
train the soldiers and, and train these men. Now so that it was my understanding soldiers. that I thought he was French. So we. You're thinking of the Patriot. Oh, okay. With so Mel Gibson. Never mind. I'm I, off here. And I, you know, I don't remember his name, and I'm yeah. going to kick myself for it. I think there's a statue of who you're talking about. Yeah, now. there is. There's yeah. a statue of him in Valley Forge. Um, so that's my. Th- Theory is maybe because he was Prussian, he helped turn the, the American So he wanted militia. To, the town to be called King of Prussia. I don't know. Just a thought. I'm the only Prussian here, and this is my town. I'm the king. That maybe of that was Pru- maybe that's what he got. He's, he's like George, George. <laughs> here's what we're gonna do. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do? Now. Whatever you know, Philippe is that what was it? Yeah, Philippe is that know. his name? I don't know. Go. Are you? I'm pretty sure that was the name. I in, think it might in be. the Patriot. I, oh, really? The French guy in the Patriot. Was that his name? Was Philippe? <laughs> Dang it! We need Mel Gibson on the phone. Okay, so George. This is what I'm seeing. What, All what that are we land doing? What are we there, doing? That's just going to be a giant mall, and I don't know. Okay. You don't know what that is yet. What is a mall? Fine. It's basically just a place to buy shoes, but it's okay. huge. Shit. Yeah. I bam. could use some shoes. Never have shoes. I'm sure George Washington had shoes. He's a very wealthy man. Okay, they're probably shitty shoes, though. I mean, in comparison he to, like, would, do you think oh, he was wearing, like, sneakers? George, no, George Washington was wearing, like, like, Jordans, whatever they were back then. That's what George People Washington People lining up for, like, you got the nice cow skin boots. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was reading about George Washington recently. He yeah. wrote He wrote a book when he was, like, 15 or 16 years old. Yeah. On how to act like a civilized human being. What the? And it's it's like 110 rules, and there some of them are really like they're all very. Specific. He was a brooding teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so mad at the world. Just I wish everyone acted like me. So some of the rules were really simple, like yeah. hey, by the way, you shouldn't answer the door unless you're fully dressed. And it's written just like that. Hey, by the way, yeah. with BT dubs, BT dubs. Um, but then there are some like hey. If somebody picks a fuzz off of your shirt, yep. be sure to thank them. That's literally one of the rules. And the other one... Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I saw a fuzz on your shoulder. So the other one <laughs> that I thought was funny was if you see a like trash or something on the floor, mm-hmm. politely and quietly cover it with your foot while you're discussing... You know, maybe you're in a crowd of people at a party or something. Wait for the, the group to disperse and then discreetly pick up said item and throw it in the trash. What the heck? Now people are just like... Yeah, now we just throw styrofoam cups at the window and say, <laughs> Goodbye, baby seals! We're so far from civility. Yeah, George would not approve. Is that a word, civility? I might do that on this show. I might just make up words. No, so... Civility? Civility is it a word? Okay, cool. Okay, anyway. I'm good like that. Um, monstrosis. So, yeah, monstrosis. <laughs> um, so... Places with funny names. So places that's my names. theory about King, King of Prussia. King of Prussia, cool. Because that's a pretty unique name and i get it now that it's a mall and they have all those like yeah very like pish posh pictures uh, all over the place and we're like me and my wife and i walk through it's like is do you think that's the king of prussia like because they just have some guy who looks all regal oh me well they probably put that there now because of the name probably probably anyway so what are some other weird town names not just towns but places in general just places so in um south america yeah i'm sure you've heard of lake Lake Titicaca. Have you never heard of this? It's an actual lake. <laughs> it's not a topless lake. But it's an actual lake. And it's lake not filled with Titicaca. poo? That's my understanding of caca is poo. Honestly, it could be filled with poo. Really, every every time... Well, no, anytime you swim in, in natural water, yeah, you're poo. swimming in poo. You're, you know. Fish poo. But, like, yeah, I feel like fish poo is not that bad. So in um, in New Jersey last year at the Jersey beaches, the Jersey Shore, they had to shut down. There's poo. Well, they had to shut down parts of the beaches last year because the fecal levels were over the recommended amount. And there's too much poo in this water, and I will not swim in it. But there's any poo in water, I'm not swimming in that. Yeah, but you already swim in it now. It's all contaminated. Even the water you're drinking when you're in the shower, like that's that's all. There's chemicals in that. That's you're not drinking regular water. I'm gonna get clean. This, Let me just rub some poo. This here could it. kill me for all we know. So we're just like, you know what? A healthy amount of poo in your diet. <laughs> but anyway, that's so what? I'm just I'm just baffled by the fact yeah. that 
that we have levels of like fecal matter. Like this is too much fecal. Too in the water. much. Yeah. Like I don't want like, any. Oh, okay. So there's it's a safe like, amount. Got yeah. It. Like oh, this this water has some uh, arsenic in it. It's okay. It's 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 right below the level. So if you want to drink it, sure, go ahead. No one's stopping you. You might only die a little. You won't. Yeah. I mean. Okay. Wait. So now I this I have to prove this. I was talking to some friends last night. Yeah. Uh, in uh, the town of Warminster. Now, that's kind of an interesting name, Warminster. It is. In the town of Warminster, and uh, we'll prove this later, and if not, I'm sorry, find it out yourselves, but what I was told was in Warminster, um, they're holding a bunch of nuclear waste in that area, and apparently in Warminster, the amount of uh, like liver cancer or whatever is extremely high because of their, all this nuclear waste that they're storing there so and we're just cool with that like i live in warminster i have five arms so stay away from warminster then i mean i guess like if you spend some time in it it's like you know hey i mean a little bit of poo is good yeah so for those of you who haven't guessed we live in pennsylvania yes uh jamie lives in a little town called collegeville and there's no college there (laughs) no i always find that That, that's there you go that's a good one yeah and then the next one over is eagleville and I have yet to see any eagles there. Well, eagles, there are a lot of eagles in this area. Maybe not bald eagles, but eagles are... A lot of condors. I saw one walking across the street that's, on my way here. That's a weird thing to that see. That was a weird way. It was like walking like yeah. this. Like... That's how it walked. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, did I say I live in Philadelphia? You live in Philadelphia. You I wasn't sure. Philadelphia. I wasn't sure if you... If that's I got where cut we're at right so, now. So... Pennsylvania, Maniuk. Pennsylvania. Well, no, this is actually Wissahickon. Oh. <laughs> Which Wissahickon. Is, yeah, and we're right next to Germantown. <laughs> there's, I'm so sure there's some Germans loaded, there. loaded with funny names. Yeah, but it's it's like that. You know, the names of towns are more based off of either the the tribes there or the um, natives who lived there initially. Mm-hmm. So we're both from Long Island, Massapequa. Uh, Massapequa. Bam. Montauk. Montauk. Like, we went to a school called Konequa. Yep. Right? Suffolk County. Suffolk. Yeah, those, that's all. Well, what about Oakdale? Um, mm, mm, mm. That's where yeah. we're from. That's our, yeah, that is the town we grew up in. No, <laughs> Oakdale is not a native tribe. Name. No. But the British were one of, they weren't the first. The first was actually the Dutch who mm-hmm. settled New York. Oh, really? The yeah. Dutch. Oh, yeah. Well, the original name for New York was, um, the original name for... Albany was Van Beverite. If I if Van I Van Beverite. Yeah, I'll, we'll have to confirm with my wife because okay. she's from Albany. That's um, another weird name. <laughs> sure is. New York, New York itself was New Amsterdam. Ah. And so the the what happened was the story was is that the British basically showed up and were like, yeah, we want this now. The Dutch didn't really have much of a standing army to fight off the British Armada, and so, so they like, basically here you like, go. yep, here you go. <laughs> And they got they got Manhattan because they traded it they traded it like a bead or something like they basically they basically gave nothing. To no, the I natives. thought Manhattan was like they they gave them like uh, like, like I, linens or I, I something think, like yeah, that. Yeah, I think they gave them quite a bit. Yeah. The, the story later on was that they didn't give them much. Wow. But um, and to think of it now. Yeah. How so, much um, money is put into Manhattan? It's all just one rock. A it's lot. just a rock. Well, that's all anything is underneath yeah. you. Um, so anyway, so around here, back to Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. um, the Dutch played a big role in some of these towns. Um, and so you have, uh, my favorite is Bala Kinwood. Yes. Which is spelled B-A-L-A, right? But Kinwood is spelled C-Y-N. The lot w- of Ys. It's C-Y-N-W-Y-D. Kinwood. Yep. And then there's also like Berwin. Yeah, Berwin has that Y. Mm. Um, that's a little. So these are all mainline towns. Mm. Um, what were what were some of the other ones? Um, Glendale. Or something? It's funny because I work all. Yeah, I work in that area. That. I and, and they're all kind of escaping my brain at the moment. But there's a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have like the river right here is the Schuylkill River. Yes. Which is that's more that's more native. That is more native. Else. Yeah. Lake Nakamixon. Yeah, that sounds like it would be more like tribal. Tribal, right? yeah. I think that actually there is some history with that one. It's a man-made lake. 
And I think there was some... I didn't know that. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, so they have like a dam. And the cool thing about this one is they release it twice a year and you can do uh, whitewater rafting. And from the dam. From the dam. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I haven't been to Lake Nakamixon. It's a pretty um, nice lake. There's like well, a little hill that kind of gets on top of it. Um, one of our friends, well, you know our friend Charlotte, she used to have a, her family had a boat there for a long time. Yeah, you can do some uh, boating on it. You're not allowed to swim in it, though. Really? Yeah. Is there some... too much fecal? <laughs> too much poo. There's so much poo. Now, you know what it so... is? In Valley Forge, in the, you actually are not allowed to go swimming in the waterways that go through that. And I think it's my understanding that the the ground has like asbestos in it. Oh God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. People used to what, fish what in that f- too. What the hell are we? I, some of these towns we got we have chemical waste, <laughs> we <have> asbestos, asbestos. <laughs> um, Francesco, where are my smokes? <laughs> <laughs> we um. Oh man, what was the name of the town? I was just thinking. Of. Okay, so you can you can appreciate this. So Japan. Yeah. Right. Okay. I J- used to live in Japan. Jamie I have to actually Japan. mention that because then I'll like bring it up in conversation, and then they'll be like, "You lived in Japan?" And I'm like, "Didn't I say that like five times?" I have to literally announce it. My name's Jamie, and I at one point in my life lived in Japan. Well, I love the first time you came over to my house. Is my mom? I I All guess I, I ever since I moved back. I guess my mom had had gotten the notion that you were from Japan. So she you thought that I was boy. Asian. Yeah. Yeah. So she's expecting like this little Japanese boy, and here <laughs> here you come like twelve foot tall German monster, and she's like, oh, <laughs> I wish I could just move the the camera a little bit. So just if it helps, can, does this help? No, you. Oh just... my god! Look, I look like we're the same height. <laughs> I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> oh yeah, we're basically the same height. No, we're not. No, we're no, not. Even we're close. not. We're well, not you know what? Close. Maybe we'll get like a picture and have us like side by side, so you can tell that it is Big Spoon, the Little Spoon. Little spoon. Okay, um, so you would think though in Japan that I would stand above everybody, and that's what I would. Everyone ever like whenever I say they're like, "Did you like tower over everybody?" That's not actually the case. You know, there are people my size in Japan. It's not like I'm just this one guy. And of course you see pictures where it's like this tall dude walking. Sometimes that happens, but it's not all the time. There was a guy that was from Japan taller than me, believe it or not. I mean, there are plenty of examples like like Yao Ming and everything. Yeah, exactly. But there's also been examples of like families who come over from Mm -hmm. some of these these countries. I think it has to do with the diet. Is that after a generation or two, their kids and grandkids start getting taller and taller? Yeah, um, and may, it's because it, the it, diet it, probably is changing. I wonder if it's like more protein or something. Uh, like that. that would be a thought: protein or dairy. I'm not really yeah. sure. I don't know much about the. Drink your milk, and you'll Japanese be tall diet. like me. And I have lactose um, intolerance, so I didn't drink that much milk. Yeah. <laughs> um, but where were we going with that, with the weird names? So so Japan, the capital of Japan mm-hmm. is... Tokyo. Right. Is it Tokyo? No, it's Kyoto. Thank you. That's And that's where I was going with this. The biggest city in Japan... Yeah. And the capital of Japan... Yeah. Are... Is it an anagram? When the word... When it's jumbled up? Kyoto and Tokyo have the same letters, they're just or- arranged differently. Did I just blow your mind? Did I just blow your mind? What the... Bob? You didn't know this? I had no clue. Kyoto and Tokyo, <laughs> same exact letters. I did not pay much attention when I was in Japan. Clearly. I did not. I lost most of it, so this is basically my only amount of uh, Japanese I hold on to. Is it Domo or you got it, Mr. Roboto? That's just... just I was just Why checking. does everyone say that? I'm sorry, I can resist. <laughs> it is... Wakarimasu Skoshi... Boku wa Jamie des, Oterai doko desu ka. Now, if you would like to find out what those are, um, definitely find us on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, send an email out to us, um, and if you decide, if you find out what it is, let us know. I'd we like hate, to see how you. How we you hate find forks at gmail.com. There you go. Thank we you. We hate forks. We hate forks. We hate forks. We just eat with spoons at gmail.com. Do we That's like forks? Yeah, it's basically a spoon, but like, it, it seems it's got like shit. little point. <laughs> like it that that spoon, like oh my god! How I went hell, swimming in New Jersey. How do you eat? Yeah, too much fecal matter. Yeah. How do you eat soup with a spork? 
You can't. Carefully. Right? Oh, okay. I've never tried. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we hate forks at gmail.com. Yeah, send us your submissions. Find out what that means. Why I just sent you? Learn something. Learn something. Why don't you? Come on. What other? Do you have any other funny names? From from for towns? It could be towns, things, anything. Towns, things. Well, I think towns we're just like the places with funny names. Uh, uh, that's a hard one. This you know? is this is because it's a... like I, I, you know I feel like like um like Durham. Uh, there's a place called Durham. Is it just Durham? Durham. Are you thinking of Durham, North Carolina? But it looks, it's spelled D-U-R-H-A-M. Durham. I mean, that is funny. <laughs> like, some, when they were coming up with the name for the town, I would imagine it was named after somebody. Yeah. Like most places are. Pennsylvania is named after William Penn. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so cool story about William Penn. Okay. In Valley Forge, we were talking about that one earlier. There's a uh, mountain that we, my wife and I, will hike right around the mountain. This plays perfectly into this. Go ahead. Yes. I know where you're going. Uh, so places with funny names. Yeah. So when we uh, we walk around it, there's this mountain called Mount Misery. The way I found this out uh, is I went on a uh, I went on a test drive, and this guy told me all about it. And he kind of, you know, he took me for a joyride a little bit. And I'm new, so I, was, I didn't know I had to stick to my to my route. How was your butt afterwards? Uh, it was actually very comfortable. <laughs> it was a very nice car. Oh, was, oh that's not what I meant. But go with that. <laughs> so, uh, the, this mountain's called Mount Misery. So, William Penn, he, like, basically, I guess, owned Pennsylvania or something like that. He Again, owned the land that well, became This is another thing that I'll find out about after after this episode. Just make sure I clear it up for you. But uh, he had gone for a walk one day, and he had gotten lost. And he was trying to wait, find his way home. And he was walking up this mountain, and he uh, recalled it being the worst hike of his life. He was so miserable at the time. When he finally found his way back home... He decided to name the mountain Mount Misery for the misery that he experienced. And ironically, the, the mountain that's right across from it is Mount Joy. And I have to find out what happened there. The fact that right next door is this <laughs> mountain that's just a regular old mountain that he decided to just give the, the most it's saddest so name to. <laughs> Yeah, William Penn owned the land that... The that land. Was built. Okay. So, um, this is a good one. So when I was living in Arizona, yeah, um, I lived with a friend of ours who's in the Air Force at the time he was living in Arizona. I'm actually going back out there soon. I'm excited. Oh, man, I need to go with you um, this time. So anyway, so... Um, think, Nick. Think. Use your brain. Use your brain. Okay. So the town that he lived in was called Surprise, Arizona. That's the name of it. Surprise, and Arizona. I don't know if this is for sure or not. <laughs> it's like Sudden Valley and Arrested Development. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think Sudden Valley is with two T's, not Sudden. No, it's Sudden. In, is it? In, in Arrested Development? In, yeah, it's Sudden Valley. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, so it's called Surprise is the mm -hmm. name of the town. And I, I don't know if this is a true fact or not. This is something a patient told me, and I later confirmed via the interwebs. But um, apparently when the town was being named, or when it was first formed, the mayor said she would be surprised if anyone ever moved there. And, and she was surprised. That's, that's what the town name of the town <laughs> When people it's moved those, there, she was surprised. It's one of those towns that it's basically, I want to say 97% of the town is retirees. Oh, gotcha. Because what happens is in Arizona, there's so much open land still that's un totally undeveloped. Yeah. And so towns keep spreading further and further from Phoenix. That's why the Phoenix Valley is so popular, mm -hmm. or so populated. Um, so a lot of these towns spring up, and they're basically marketed as, like, a senior citizen paradise. Gotcha. There's golf courses and you see, shopping. The thing is, though, you really don't want to surprise anyone living there, because... <laughs> Right. You'll give them a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Lordy. <laughs> I'm a dad. Come on. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, any other funny names you got? I can't. Or should we do some research? Maybe we should do some research right now. Uh, yeah. We're going to do some research. Find some funny names. Find some funny names and some explanations of funny names. Stick with us. Big Spoon, Little Spoon, we'll be right back.
Hi friends, I'm Nick Drago, host of Sports, Sports, Sports with Nick Drago. Are you looking for a podcast that's going to give you all the sports news and information and and just have a lot of fun doing it? Well, this might be the one for you. Uh, Sports, Sports, Sports with Nick Drago. We're on every Sunday and you can find us on Facebook, SoundCloud, Twitter, and the YouTube. Just type in Sports, Sports, Sports with Nick Drago. That's me. We'll talk all about some sports. We'll have a little fun, maybe some laughs. You know how it goes. Uh, You can find us where you like to listen to your podcasts. And welcome back to Big Spoon, Little Spoon. So we took some time during the break. Yeah. Did a little bit of commercially research while you were enjoying more commercials. More commercials, Um, things and stuff. So... There were a few things we were right way wrong off. So first off, um, <laughs> Albany, New York, yeah. used to just be Beverwick, not Van Vebra- Beverwick, Beverwick, which is what I was, I was always under the impression of. King of Prussia was named after the King of Prussia Inn, which was a, it was literally just an, a an random inn. inn. Is that where the mall is? It was like it was an inn, and now no, it's a No, because mall. I think the inn may still be there. It's, I think it's a historical landmark. Really? I believe so. Find so it. it has nothing to do with the general, the Prussian mm, general. Just because. Who was. Um, maybe they're like, he's from Prussia. That's kind of a cool name. Well, no, because the, the, the inn, inn itself. The inn was there before him? The inn itself was there almost 100 years before the revolution, which is when Frederick. How ironic he showed up. Frederick Wilhelm von Steuben. Von Steuben. Which, as soon as I heard it, it clicked all the bells in my head. So. He was the, the there Prussian general. There's a statue general. of him. There's a statue of him. Actually, his full name... Wow, really? No okay. way. Okay, here we go. His full name is Frederick Wilhelm August Heinrich Ferdinand Steuben, also referred to Baron von Steuben. Baron von Steuben. But he was he was an inspector general and a major general of mm-hmm. the Continental Army. Wow. Yeah. So he so the king, king of Prussia, the inn itself, would have been there at least... 15 or so years before he was even born in 1730. So, um, yeah. Cool. So we learned some stuff there. And you you uh, okay. confirmed something for us, right? Yes. So I, uh, the story of Mount Misery. Now, I tried to find out some more information on what's going on in Warminster. Uh, not enough time for me to j- delve as deep into that. I feel like that might be something you need to do like way more research on. So if, if you find out anything... Please give us a shout out on Facebook, Twitter. Our email again is wehateforks at gmail.com. I'd love to see what you find on that. I'm going to continue searching. If I find anything, I may throw a post out. Uh, However, for Mount Misery, uh, from the King of Prussia Historical Society website, so it's kophistory.org. Just a quick paragraph here. I'm just going to read it out. So... In June of 1701, William Penn and the company of Isaac Norris made a journey to the Susquehanna to meet with the Indians at Conestoga. That's some interesting name there. Those are all currently yeah. used names, yeah. actually. On his return trip, he came to the Schuylkill, we were talking about that earlier, and got lost among the woods in the hill near present-day Valley Forge. He did not know where he was until he reached Valley Creek, which is the uh, the one that I walk along. And getting a glimpse of the Schuylkill in the area to the south, he regained his way and named the former hill Mount Misery and the latter Mount Joy. So there you go. See, mm-hmm. so you were right about that one. Yes. Um, well, the guy who I had that uh, long journey with. So I was, I was right. I was right. Kyoto and Tokyo. That switch. That's did they do a, that on purpose, though? Yes, that's but that's great. called an anagram. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. So I have a list here of some funny names mm-hmm. that I'm gonna share with you. Cool. I I have I think I have the story behind most of them. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're we're gonna just go through these real quick. One of them is boring Oregon. We have <laughs> truth. That's like Bland's. We have a, a town called Truth or Consequences in New Mexico. Wow. Uh, Accident, Maryland. Um, <laughs> so, so. There's also a place I think called Hazard. Really? Yeah. If Where I, is that? I do not know, but I remember the name Hazard. I feel like I see it on my way up to New Hampshire. Interesting. Uh, there's Ding Dong, Texas. Uh, no Name, Colorado. <laughs> Ding Dong, Texas. 
<laughs> no Name Colorado, which is, it was named... We forgot to write it in. Well, no, when they were chartering the town, it didn't have a name yet. Mm-hmm. And so they just put it in as No Name. And they and just never stuck. changed it. They never changed Great. it. Uh, Santa Claus, Indiana. Uh, they wanted to originally call the town Santa Fe. There's a bunch of hoes there. It was rejected. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, it was rejected, so now they're Santa Claus. Cool. Um, there's Dull, Scotland. Dull. Uh, y, Arizona. Which used to be, initially it was literally just the letter Y. And then... I guess there's some rule in Arizona, the laws, that uh, each town has to have more than three letters in its name. Uh, and so they changed it to the spelled out word, Y. Uh, two Egg, Florida. Uh, during the Great Depression, two local boys would stop at the general store for their mom, trading two eggs for a package of sugar. Two eggs. So I guess that general store just took it on. Hot Coffee, Mississippi. <laughs> That's um, hot. Which is just named for a popular inn in that area, similar to King of Prussia. Mm-hmm. Knock 'em stiff, Ohio. <laughs> we got Chicken, Alaska, nice. which was named after the. It's not in Kentucky. No, but I have a good one. I have a good Kentucky one. Okay, Get we need ready. to see one from Oklahoma. Hey, you know I didn't see any Oklahoma ones. Um, so these the local birds that am I saying this right? Ptarmigan. Ooh, that Tarm- familiar. Yeah, ptarmigan. Familiar, yeah. They resemble chickens. And mm-hmm. so I guess the town, there was just a ton of them, so they named it Chicken Alaska. <laughs> uh, cut and Shoot, Texas. Cut and Shoot. Oh. oh Idiotville, no. Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly a ghost town now. <laughs> according I'm to, not living an idiot. According to the, to the 2000 census, only three people lived there. <laughs> And here we go. Are you ready for this? They're very smart people. This is our Kentucky one. Uh, Monkey's Eyebrow. (laughs) This is a real town in Kentucky. (laughs) They believe its name comes from the shape. A monkey's eyebrow. They believe it comes from like the shape of where the town is based Mm -hmm. on the map. It looks looks like like a a monkey's monkey's eyebrow. eyebrow. Because when I'm thinking of maps, I'm like, hold up one second. (laughs) That right there. Looks like a hippopotamus's knee. That's the name of the town. <laughs> Hippopotamus knee. Here we go. That's a rat tooth right there. Rat tooth. Rat, rat tooth. tooth that sounds pretty good. Rat tooth Nevada. Where are you from? Rat tooth Nevada. Like that's damn, I'm hardcore. not messing with you. That is a hardcore name. I agree. All right. Well, I think that's what we have for funny names. Places that was pretty fun. Food. That was pretty fun. Yeah, was I enjoyed pretty that. Funny. Pretty fun and end funny. Uh, for those of you out there who want to hear more of us, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. We always forget to mention YouTube. Oh, YouTube. You're We're probably, at YouTube. If you're watching Utah. us on YouTube. Utah. Utah. Uh, special thanks to Johanna Drago. She is the set designer and logo designer for this podcast. Thanks for helping us get off the ground. And uh, one more thing. If you guys find any other funny names for towns, please feel free to uh, give us a shout out as well. Yes. We'd love to see what you can come up with. Yeah. So tell us some funny town names yeah. that maybe we missed or you want us to uh, talk about. We can always bring it up on a later show. Yeah. Um, and any other topics you want us to talk about as well, email us. We hate forks at gmail.com. They are terrible, those forks. Come on. We hate forks at gmail.com. Uh, email us. And I think that's all we have for today. So thanks for joining us and uh, see you next time. We'll see you next time.